Guys, whenever we are talking about a lead acid battery, there are variety of different methods to assess the health and performance of this lead acid battery. Now, lead acid batteries are commonly found in cars. They are also found in inverter and solar systems. So the video today is going to be applicable to all of them, be it cars, be it off-grid solar systems or anything else which uses a lead acid battery. Now to check the health of lead acid battery, we can do a couple of things. We can use a decent multimeter and check the voltage, which is a voltage test. We can use a hydrometer to check the gravity. That would be a gravity test. There are other kinds of tests available. For example, there's load testing available. But today we are going to talk about a very unique method of testing this battery, which is known as standing voltage. And standing voltage is also known as resting voltage or standby voltage. And this kind of test is very useful if you are having doubts regarding the performance of your battery. If you suspect that certain cells of your battery have gone bad. Now a 12 volt lead acid battery will have 6 individual cells like these. You see these black caps? These are 6 different cells. And sometimes what will happen is that one of the cells will end up being shorted. It might end up damaged or it might be in poor health. So if you suspect that there is something wrong with the cells of your battery, you can use this method which is known as standing voltage or resting voltage or standby voltage. And first, let us understand what is standing voltage. Now as this name suggests, the resting voltage of battery or the standby voltage of battery is taken when the battery is in resting position which means that the battery is lying over here on a countertop or like any table. The terminals are open which means that the battery is not being charged, it's not being discharged. You have to keep in mind, you cannot take standby voltage of a battery when you have for example an inverter connected a charger connected or some kind of solar charge controller or anything else connected which is going to affect the voltage of battery. Standby voltage is taken when the battery is completely at rest with no load and no discharge. So to take this test what a lot of people do is they take a decent multimeter connect it like this, put the probes in and then take a good reading and the reading says 12.45 or 12.46 volt oh ho! so is this the standing voltage no guys this is only half the story this is not the correct method to take a good standing voltage test of your battery and for the proper standing voltage test we are going to need some equipment we are going to need some preparation so let me go ahead and show you how to take a proper standing voltage of your battery and troubleshoot its performance issues Guys, before running a standing voltage test, we must ensure that the battery is fully and properly charged. There are various methods that we can use for charging a 12 volt lead acid battery. For example, we can use a 12 volt inverter or UPS. And keep in mind that your inverter should be rated at 12 volt, which means that it is designed to work with single battery. If your inverter is running at 24 volt, for example, just check this. So this is a 24 volt system where two batteries are in series. So if your system is rated at 24, 36, 48 volts, that is not going to work. You need an inverter which works at 12 volts only. The other option would be to use a decent solar charge controller. Connect a small solar panel with it say 100 watts, 150, 180 watts, which is enough for this kind of battery. And when the charging process is happening, be very sure, don't put any kind of load. If you put the load, again your reading is not going to be correct because the battery will get discharged. So if you are charging the battery from solar panel or from your inverter, don't put any kind of load onto your battery. Let it charge happily. So these are two options. The third option would be to go for a commercial or a branded battery charger. There are many different kinds of battery chargers available online which will help you decently charge your battery. Buying links are available in the description below. And now let's talk about the fourth and Jugaad option. Say you don't have a proper inverter, you don't want to invest in a solar charge controller or a branded battery charger, then what else you can use is this thing. So let me connect this thing up and then we can talk what is this thing. 
so guys what i have connected over here is a 20 amp dc to dc buck converter module and these kind of modules are very nice if you have hobbies in electronics or diys i believe if you are a hobbyist you should have this thing and as usual with my all videos if you want to buy any of this stuff which is shown in this video be it this 20 ampere dc to dc bug converter solar charge controllers inverters batteries or anything else multimeters the links are waiting for you in the description below so please go ahead and check out the description once so what i have done over here is use the output the load section of this charge controller and it goes like this via a diode to prevent any kind of black flow because these things are not isolated again details in further video if you want to know about it you can subscribe to the channel or ask me in the comment box so i have connected this dc to dc converter the output goes like this using these wires which are connected to battery clamps and i have set the voltage to 14.4 volts because to charge a 12 volt lead acid battery we need 14.4 volts this is the general recommendation for more details there's a dedicated video available in the i button or in the description below so let's connect these clamps and see how the charging process goes guys the setup is ready and it has been charging the battery for quite a some time now and the battery voltage is already at 13.8 it will take a few hours to reach 14.4 and i will suggest that you charge the battery for at least 10 hours or you can follow your manufacturer's recommendations which are on their website or in the user manual but one thing that you need to keep in mind is if you suspect your battery is bad if some of the cells have become shorted then what you need to do is every 10 15 minutes you need to touch the battery and check the temperature if the battery is getting hot or even lukewarm all right if you feel that the battery is heating up immediately disconnect everything and keep the battery outside of your house and guys if you don't have good experience in dealing with electricals or with batteries i suggest you take the help of a professional all right so what i'll do is i'll let this battery charge i recommend that you charge it for at least 10 hours inspect it frequently and then let's see what is the next step with respect to this standing voltage test so far the charging is going on really well and we can see the battery has reached 14 volts and i believe by evening uh, say 3 or 4 pm this thing would be full at 14.4 volts and while this charging process is happening there are a few things which we need to keep in mind the first thing is never put any kind of load or don't put this battery in any kind of use as you can see just the charging process is going on a voltmeter is fine but uh, other than a voltmeter don't put any kind of load in this process let the battery charge happily for 8 to 10 hours okay and there are a few other precautions that you need to take the first thing that you need to check for is the temperature as i told you if the battery is faulty a few things will happen either the battery will overheat it will feel warm or sometimes you can see vapors or bubbles coming out from this cell and if that is happening it means that the cells are bad and you should disconnect this battery and put it outside immediately second thing that happens is sometimes faulty batteries will charge very quickly like at the beginning of the test say for example these batteries were at 11 or 12 volts you put on these clamps and then boom in 10 minutes or 20 minutes you can see that uh, the battery would be at 14.4 in that case also the battery is faulty maybe it is suffering from sulfation uh, what is sulfation the video is available over here in the corner or in the description you can check it out so the battery should not charge too quickly all right even a small battery like this this is a 60 or 65 amp hour battery will take at least one or two hours to charge and reach 14.4 volt so i'll let this thing continue and then let's see what happens next all right guys it's the evening time and we can see that this battery is well and truly charged and the multimeter shows a precise value of 14.4 volt 
which means that this battery has been properly charged and we gave it a good 8 to 10 hours of charging on this particular voltage and now is the interesting bit now I will tell you how to take the standing voltage and for that what we are going to do is uh, we are going to simply disconnect this charging apparatus that we had here we are going to just remove it and along with that I will also suggest you remove your converters you just turn it off pack everything away so that nothing shorts up and now we are going to let this battery sit we are going to let this thing rest overnight okay at least for 10 hours we are just going to let it sit make sure you don't try to use this battery anywhere you should not discharge it you should not charge it just don't do anything with it just keep it aside let it rest and in the morning we will check the standing voltage of this particular battery guys good morning and welcome back so today is the day two of our standing voltage test and i left this battery to rest overnight that is eight to ten hours and now here in the morning we are going to check the voltage of this particular battery by connecting a voltmeter something like this so let's connect the probe there goes the probe and here on this multimeter we can see the correct standing voltage of battery which is taken using the proper method and the reading is 12.75 or 12.76 now let's talk a bit about what kind of voltage should you expect for a healthy or for a damaged battery now generally the standing voltage for a healthy lead acid battery is somewhere between 12.6 to 12.8 if the battery is very new sometimes i have seen that the voltage is as high as 13 volts even after resting overnight but generally what you will see is somewhere between 12.6 to 12.8 and here the reading which we got today is 12.7 which means that this particular battery is well and good it's very healthy it's in good shape now let's talk about damaged batteries if the standing voltage of your battery taken using the whole procedure that I explained you today is 12.5 or below. It means that your battery has become weak. Either it could be low electrolyte. So you might have to add distilled water in your battery. It could be low state of charge. It could be low gravity. In that case, you will have to rectify the situation. Maybe add distilled water, charge it up properly and then rerun this whole, this entire test once again until you get a satisfactory reading of at least 12.6 okay and now if the standing voltage of your battery drops down below 12 volts okay if the battery is going below 12 volts automatically after standing overnight it means that one or more of cells of your battery is having a problem and in this case guys you should not try to use the battery you should not try to charge the battery because trying to charge batteries with damaged cells can be explosive and it might cause injury so here is how we take standing voltage of your batteries if you want more information regarding batteries there would be cards popping up over here and here by clicking on these cards you can get more information related to batteries take care and have a nice day guys